guys, welcome back to Frolics and Finds. My name is Marby, and today's video is going to be a review of an RV campground or an RV beach resort, which is in, located in um, the south uh, end of um, the country, which is, of course, Florida. So we road trip, we RV trip to Navarre RV Beach Camping, which is located in Navarre, Florida. We had a great time, and I'm just going to give a, a review of the RV camp um, itself. So when, before I book this site, I actually did some research. I always do my research, and there's not been a lot of really good stuff about this um, this. Um, RV resort but I was I was kind of desperate to be really out there in the beach so I went ahead and, and and book a site now there was a review about this about a couple that are really very unhappy because they said that the picture that they posted maybe on their website are not really what they uh, found in you know in reality when, when they got there well I'm here to tell you I'm here to tell you that the resort the pictures that I found in YouTube or in the website, the actual resort is actually more beautiful, prettier than what I have seen uh, online, in all fairness. So um, experience wise, we uh, when we were approaching the, the area, we had a call from management and they asked, you know, you book this time, a check-in is four o'clock, um, are you still coming? So we told them that we are still about six hours away and they said, no problem, it is going to be a late check-in and they, uh, she gave me information what to do when we get there. So when we got there, our packet is already right there at the very front with our name on it we open it and it has all the information even the arrows of how to navigate the campsite and to get into our site as well as other informations like wi-fi um, their activities because they have social activities ice cream popcorn movies something like that so that was very nice because the check-in is very smooth we just had to go in there find our site now during office hours there will be somebody in a golf cart to guide you where your campsite is and help you park there so that was very nice so that the the RV site is you know it's all RVs in the middle and then it is planked by bungalows and villas on the site that are very colorful colorful there are pink villas there are yellow ones there are blue ones and stuff like that and each of these villas have like a i don't know if it's a real stained glass but it looks like there's always a, a window that is a stained glass supposedly a stained glass so i thought that was very um cute and they're all decorated with some surfboards or kinds of fish and stuff like that so of course the prices if you're closer to uh, the beach where you can see the water Water, it's more expensive than when you are in the back the place is clean I don't know what the other people are talking it is immaculately clean they have a dog park which is larger than what you can actually see in in YouTube and um, they have um, they're very conscious about you picking up after your pets so there are there are several um, places throughout the campsite where you can get those little baggy and take care of your of your dogs um, um, you know you know what I mean okay so um, this RV resort does not limit who can come in and what I'm saying is there are some RV resort that will not let you come in if you're a schoolie if you're a camper you know a van that transformed into a like a, a, a travel van they don't accept uh, some doesn't accept tent and some also RV resort would ask you how old your rig is if it is older than 15 years then you're not or 10 years then you're not allowed to get into their facility this um, facility 
accepts every everyone like uh, 10 campers if you have a pop-up if you have a, a van that you've been converted into something or you're a schoolie or I don't know if you have a 30 year old um, hurricane <laughs> rig because behind us there's like a hurricane it's really old but it's okay everybody is very respectful it is a quiet place uh, they do have a pool a heated pool is not very large but it's also very clean so the area is really clean I'm really happy with that and we went to the um, the uh, bathroom area in the clubhouse it is clean it is dry it smells good it is just clean that's all I can say about this um, this uh, RV resort so it's a very clean place to be in a very happy place uh, uh, to be and the people are really nice and then also there's one thing I like about it. They, of course, they are not facing the, the Gulf Shore, the, the beach itself, the Navarre Beach itself. They are actually facing the Santa Rosa uh, Sound where you have a body of water between the island there where the beach is and then their location. So they have an artificial beach that you can just lay down and look at the sky and look at the storm. Me and my husband was able to, you know, uh, there was a storm when we were... Um, uh, we arrived and it was it was nice another good thing about this place is they have a pier that extend all the way to the water and in fact they just when we were there they were busy renewing it and you can just walk into this pier all the way out there and do your fishing so if you love to fish we brought a fishing pole but my husband said that's fishing pole is not really for the beach it's for the lake so we're not able to do it but if you would love to go fishing you can fish in the pier in this um, RV resort and not only that um, the next time I'm gonna go back there I'm gonna I swear I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna bring my own crab pot there are some people there that were bringing crab pots and I like what are they doing and they're putting some you know some bait in the crab pot and go out there in the pier, drop their pot, and then just wait. And then there are crabs in their pot. I have a great time going out there, checking out their pot to my husband's um, annoying annoyance because my husband was like, you really should not be touching that. I said, you know, I don't think these people would mind. I was just so excited about, you know, bringing this pot up and, and seeing different crabs, mostly blue crabs in their pot. So next time I'm gonna be in that place, I'm gonna be doing that. Now, there are no restaurants in here because RV resort, you know, there are no restaurants, but there's a lot of restaurants once you go outside, okay? So we don't have a toad, so we're not towing anything, but we were able to call a taxi so to bring us to the, to the Navarre Beach itself. Now, the Navarre Beach itself is something to talk about in a different video, but this um rv resort this navar rv uh, navar camping rv resort or navar beach camping rv resorts that's a complete name highly recommend very nice people very clean facility quiet and there's a lot of things to do actually it's very laid back there's not a lot of people partying going crazy it's just a very friendly laid back beach which that's really how I want to be so if I feel like I needed to go to the crowded beach you know it's just three miles off the Navarre public beach is just three miles off and it's a very beautiful beach too their pier there at Navarre is very very crowded which um, I don't really think you know I would enjoy that but there are three restaurants there like I said I'm gonna have a review of the Navarre beach um, uh, later uh, but right now, this is about Navarre Beach Camping RV Resort. It's worth the time, it is worth the money, and highly recommended. And we definitely are going back there if we have the opportunity. And when I say we have the opportunity, it's because there are other places too to check out. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to go back there, but uh, next time that I'm gonna be in that area, I'm bringing my own crab pot. I know it's crazy, but I love doing that thing and it's really, I, 
I'm just excited to catch my own crab and cook it the way I want it. So that's it guys for um, Navarre Beach Camping RV Resort. If you do have any questions, comment down below and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. And um, anything at all, any questions about the place, uh, safety, very safe, very, very safe uh, place. And it was packed when we were there. There were just maybe a couple of um, um, areas that were not um, occupied, but it's a very, very uh, safe place and a very quiet place. Uh, the sky at night is beautiful. So highly recommended. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on other reviews on uh, RV sites and places uh, we have been. So I'd be very glad to, um, you know, share this information to you because I have been a recipient of all the information that I wanted. So I just, I just, you know, uh, ask some friends or some people here on YouTube, what do you think about this place? And I have the information because it's very good to be in a place where th that you've never been, but you already have some information uh, beforehand. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I will see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.